Hey guys! Hey oh! <laughs> Happy Tuesday, September 19th. Book release day. Guys, this is the official book release day of our brand new book, Storefront NYC. And we're gonna highlight some of the small businesses that we photographed that are included in the book, including Cafe Reggio. Cafe Reggio. We're yeah. gonna show you the we're gonna show you the picture in a minute. Yeah. But James. Let people shuffle in. George is saying, let's go. Hey George, thanks for popping in today. Show showcase the Beautiful where we day are, here James. in Greenwich Village, 73 degrees, Cafe Reggio. Absolutely stunning late summer day. Showcase the yeah. storefront jeans. Yeah. I gotta type Gosh, up my stuff. We're sitting out here. Hey Razor. Hey oh, Greg B popping in. Welcome aboard, Greg B. Just an absolute stunning day. We just got finished uh, shooting Minetta Tavern for our Great Bars in New York book. Right down the street. You can even see the sign. We shot that at soup to nuts, root to the fruit. And here we are. We're going to get something to eat at Cafe Reggio, show you some of the book preview, and basically chat away for a while, and then we'll walk through Greenwich Village. Welcome aboard, Dave Jeffrey, Niagara Falls. Hey, Joe Hernandez, JS1210. Oh, tell them um, why Mr. LAB. Why, why our favorite little boy is not here. Yep, Hudson's not here today. Because. Hey, Lori Lou NJ saying congrats on the book. Best wishes. LAB hand waving. There it is, guys. Doing pretty well. Carol popping in. Hey, how are you doing today? Boaz Valhalla popping in. Nice Boaz popping in. So Hope you guys on, are having guys. a wonderful day. Here's where we're at. DC 322. Tuesday is book release day. You got it. Singapore popping in. Welcome aboard Singapore. Hope you're having a nice day. Okay, so guys, here we are. And there, there it, is. it is. Look, looks familiar. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at it. It looks great. Looking great. Cafe Reggio. You know it's one of our favorite spots. Extra. Greg beat a little home. He's at home working on his pizza novel. Yes, he's home working on his pizza novel. So we couldn't th think of a better way to celebrate our book opening than help support one hey, of the Mark small Rim. businesses. Right, James? Yep. Help support one of the small businesses that are highlighted in our book. Shanti Pasquale Reggio. saying congrats on your book. Can't wait to receive it. Singapore saying a wonderful book. Guys, it's a beautiful, I mean, a yeah, and we'll, top drawer. We'll go inside Cafe Reggio. A level day. Because this place is the first place to introduce cappuccino to the United States. You got and it. And we're going to show you the cappuccino machine that the owner Thanks, had Action imported. Kid. Hey, Case in the chat saying oh, congrats hey, on the book. Hey, thanks, Ken. Hey, Ken, we'll be seeing you soon. Hope you're having a nice day. Hope you're uh, holding it down. Nice job extra good. Mark Rensing, that's a fantastic job guys. Thanks Mark. Thank you Mark. Fantastic. New book day, new book release day. Tilt it a little bit, it's all blown out. There it is. You can get it at all fine bookstores. Ronnie C, um, pop it in, I saying hi. Fifi Marie. And, and guys, to saying everybody, to I just want to let everybody know that pre-order the signed copy. Yeah. Please, please be patient. Um, we will be mailing, we will be mailing them out starting today. But I, I can't promise that it go that it's mailed to you today because we have uh, a lot of copies to sign. It takes yep. a while. We have to sign them. It's not like um, you know a internet uh warehouse yeah. that just you know puts them in a box and they're on their way yeah, like george is asking does it have a centerfold <laughs> george the timeless art of seduction no it does not yeah. no it does not uh sharon popping in barbara thompson saying congrats on the book cover looks great thank you guys thank we're gonna you we're going to get a cappuccino something to eat and then take a little stroll right one of the most fabulous days I can remember in Greenwich Village right now. The day is just gorgeous. 73 degrees, no humidity. Thanks for that, Jay Dez. Joseph Taylor saying, Joe Taylor in the house. Stuart Bryce saying hi to James Carla and King Hudson in spirit. And Carla also is a hand model on QVC. George is saying. Nice, Stephen Fox popping in. LD Original in the house, LAB, George. Joe Taylor on the count, like I mentioned. And everybody's in the chat. Here we go. So Big day for us. Cafe Reggio has been in business since 1927. Do you want me to go inside and, and show it, or uh, then she'll come outside to ask for our order, right? 
Wait till like wait till the order, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait till Perfect. the order. Then we'll let you be cooked up. Well, guys, let's show the menu. Okay, Cafe Reggio, James. Mm -hmm. Focus in. Nineteen twenty-seven. Now, is we... it possible to get a copy in person? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, We're doing our book signing. She's coming to New York this weekend. This weekend. Uh, this we'll weekend. We'll see where we're at. But maybe, um, you know, if you let us know ahead of time, um, I'm not sure where where will we will be live streaming from, but we can always carry an, uh, a copy with us for you. Mike Landry, pop it in. Annie Dennison, great to see you back in NYC. Likewise, Annie Dennis, it's just a beautiful day out here. Oh, Absolutely was that Desi stunning. Des? No, any Dennis. Oh, any Dennis was asking that? Yep. Uh, any, Ayani, any, in. Have, have any email us. Any, if you could email us at jnk at jamesandcarlamurray.com. That's our email address. Um, then we can, fig, you know, maybe we can figure out a good, uh, you know, place to, to meet while we're live streaming or something like that. Yep. Now, this is the menu. Now, they have a brunch served from 9 to 4. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're gonna be we're gonna be partaking on their brunch menu. Yes. Now James is going to. Yep. Also, Hi, how are you? How are you? We finally decided. Great. So you're gonna get a what are you gonna get to drink, James? Uh, a cappuccino and wa and a glass of water. And uh, you're gonna get the negrino. Yep, that's it. But what cheese is it? Do you know? Uh, it has gorgonzola. European cheeses. Yeah, it, I believe it's a blend of three. Yes. That sounds perfect, perfect for you. Me. And I am going to go with the. Um, it's all out of stock. Oh, yeah, we're going to double check for an ingredient. Would you like fries or salad? Fries is great. Thank you. Now, should I do a omelet instead of French yes, toast? Try that. Try it. Omelet's good. Yeah, let me go. Excellent. I'm gonna go with an omelet. Oh, they do make see. excellent French toast. Get the French toast. Oh, she's recommending the French toast. Yeah, get the French toast. I'll but I, 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 I really, I'm, I'm into the, I'm into the omelet though. Okay. I really am. Oh, well, you're thinking French toast? Okay, French toast. fine. French toast it is. Because I'll so, have some. Perfect. French toast and your choice of fresh strawberries. Yes, stra uh, strawberries would be great. I don't like bananas. No bananas. So no bananas on mine. No just bananas. more strawberries. <laughs> got enough bananas right here. And I'll have a um, ooh. What do you think, James? A should I do a cappuccino too? Fantastic job. Or should I do a latte? Fin cappuccino. Yeah, while, hey. while while in Rome, right? Yep. And I'll do uh, a cappuccino as well. That sounds good, right? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to show inside. Oh, yes. So, guys. Kind of indiscriminately. If you see our. You'll watch. Yes. So, guys, I'm going to go inside Cafe Reggio because I want to show you. This has been, it's been in business since 1927. And the owner imported, saved, used his life savings to get this cappuccino machine. I'm going to show it to you. It's in the back over here. It's in the, it's a kind of in the dark. They don't use it anymore, but look at this. It has angels. See the angel on top? This is the original cappuccino machine that he had imported from Italy. He's credited as the first person to introduce cappuccino to, to the United States. There it is. Yeah, and it's lovely inside. I mean, we could have... We could have sat inside, but I figured because we're live streaming, I didn't want to annoy anybody, so we elected to sit outside. But the inside is, is gorgeous, you know, with the old oil paintings, the murals on the wall. Yeah, isn't it a gorgeous place? It's stunning. And they, make, they have desserts as well as cappuccino. It's beautiful. See, Castello de Reggio. The castle. In business since 1927. See that? Beautiful, right? And now here's James is holding up. Here's our photo inside our book. Today is all about celebrating our book release, Storefront NYC. Yeah, avoid avoid that. You got a big uh, 
Yep. Oh, you had some water already? Yep. You got a big fish. <laughs> Get up. James, and when you need it, we Carol's saying it looks like my kind of place. Oh, it's great. This Flat is... Infinite Play Nerds at a fancy McDonald's. Oh, uh, I want to show you something. So, this is our We don't dog. have our dog today. It's Remember our dog? Remember our doggy? Yes. yes. We had to leave him at home because we had a, um, a work shoot, but our photograph of Cafe Reggio is, is in the book. So, let me show you. Book release day today. Yeah, it just came out today. Number one on Amazon, street <laughs> photography. <laughs> So here you are. Looks nice, right? Right. So we hope that when people read this, that they come and help support the business. <laughs> yes, that's a, that's our intention. It's all like just mom and pop stores, all the five boroughs. But mm -hmm. you guys are one of our favorites, so we have to. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. We guess. All right. Fantastic job. Bridgewood, 237 in the house, popping in today, and a beautiful day in the Greenwich Village, guys. The kids seem to love the Greenwich Village. Bob Dylan, yeah, we're here many away. times. Cafe Wa, Bob Dylan. Right. Bob Dylan, oh, um, the Patty, Gaslight. Patty Smith um, has many, many famous people. Many famous people over the years have uh, gotten cappuccino, sat, read a book, Worked on their music, whatever Honey. they've done. One of my favorites. And we're steps away from Washington Square Park. See, that's Washington Square Park down the street. Sharon Armstrong's checking in, and Mark, Joe Bogues says it looks wonderful, gorgeous, saying, Who the heck is Bob Dylan? Exactly, exactly. Rich with 237s in the chat. <laughs> CD celebrates seven months of membership. Oh, extra good. Ash just had a French vanilla cappuccino. Uh, it could be better. Sounds fantastic. Flat Infinite Plane says hello. Sharon De Pasquale said yes, such a such a um, an amazing place. Yeah, so Sharon, I don't know if you heard our announcement. Um, Sharon and anybody else who pre-ordered our book, we will be mailing out signed copies, but please give us some time. I, uh, we have the copies at our at our apartment, but we need time to open them, sign them, personalize them, and remember, everybody that pre-ordered a copy of our book also gets a free storefront postcard, so we have to include that as well. Package it up and bring it to the post office to mail it. So we will be, when we mail it, we will be mailing you um, tracking information, but please give us time. We're gonna start the process today, but I can't promise that everybody gets their book mailed today because we we have a lot of copies to sign and mail. And, uh, and you we're know, trying to finish our other book. And James and I are only two people. You know, we, we don't have a whole, we we're don't have a whole to, warehouse. We're trying to finish up our bar book, guys. It's due October 2nd. We just shot Manetta Tavern earlier. What? Which is Mike Landry, Canadian, three dollars. <gasps> Congrats on the book. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Thank Mike. you, Mike. Joe Burgess, the money I posted should cover the postage. Thanks so much. Thanks, Joe Burgess. Yes, yes, but Joe Burgess, we got you. Yep. We got you guys. Thanks for popping in today. Greenwich Village. Cafe Reggio. Mike Landry, fantastic job. Extra good. Extra. Yep. Extra. This is what it looks like. We're very excited about it. Yeah, so should we should we kind of um, flip through it a little bit more? Show show a little bit more yeah. what's in the book. Show so a little bit a more. I gotta little, balance this a little better. A special little preview for you guys. Yep. Now the book is divided into two um, boroughs. Yep. So there's all five boroughs are represented. Now, Chris Stein, the co-founder of the Blondie, wrote the introduction to our book. Oh, here comes our cappuccinos right now. Yep. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Uh, can I have a little um, Splenda as well? Thank you. A little stevia. Yes. So, it's Guys, divided you know into Manhattan, yep. the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, all five boroughs represented, guys. Yep. All five boroughs. Here's the Ford by Chris Stein. And then James and I wrote an introduction. Do you have to hit um, focus? Let's make sure. Ridgewood 237 just checked bestseller on Amazon. It was number one, oh, extra street good. photography. Number two, artist monograph. This is this is our opening We're spread, We're quite guys. proud. Yep, pearl paint in the house. 
Oh, thank you so much. Here. Hold on, guys. I'm going to show you some more. I'm just going to have my... Uh... Guys, look at this beautiful foam. Hey, DIY all things. Beach Bum 88. My favorite storefront is the cover. Guys, look at this. Bob Dylan vibes, guys. I'm telling you. Look at this. You. Do you see? Um, is it is the uh, mm -hmm. written on the cup? Yeah, look at how beautiful, beautiful foam. Nice and strong and black like James likes it. Well, not black. It has the... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> nice and strong. How's that? You should have stopped there. Yeah, should have stopped there. Yeah, should have stopped right there. Now, I always put a little bit of sugar in mine. You know I like my stuff sweet, guys. Yes, thanks, George. We're having a signing at Village Works Thursday night. Yes, that's our first And again on event. a Saturday in October. A Saturday, October 7th. That's for everybody that's like coming from out of town or, you yep. know, difficult to get to some place on a Thursday evening. Yep. Guys, we're so happy. Chris Stein, founding member of Blondie, wrote the introduction. We're going to be draw hand delivering him a book at some point. And we're just excited. Just totally excited. It was uh, many years of work. Pearl Paint, one Pearl of my Paint. favorites. Any artist in New York City will remember Pearl Paint. Is there a map in the book too? Many maps, Irma. Many maps. Every borough gets a map. Every borough gets a map. So you can go and find them yourself and figure out how to get there because we give the address for every storefront. See, like Ross and Doors. That's another one of my favorites. East Houston Street near Orchard Co Street. Cosars, yep. So you know exactly where it is. Yep. Yona Shim Kanishas, East Houston Street yeah, near you Forsyth. Yeah, you know Hey, HC teacher. Parkside Bay and Grill, East Houston Street. Yep, now book release day, Storefront NYC. Give the full title, honey. It's Storefront NYC, photographs of the city's independent shops, past and present. Past and present. So there's some, some businesses that sadly are no longer with us. James, look at that. Beautiful There foam. we go. Yeah, look at that. Cafe Reggio. Hey, Steve Gonzalez popping in. He's flying to New York Thursday morning. I'm going to stop your book launch. Steve Gonzalez says, nice job, Steve. Oh, James, you know what? You can take a little photo with me before we my room in the cappuccino. Hold on, I'm going to get the cappuccino. And hold I got the my book. phone. I got my camera. Yeah, get out your camera. Just the phone, right? Phone camera, yeah. Good. Because I doubt you want the other one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's overkill. And then, hold Guys, on. Guys, hang on a sec. Oh, Look here comes our do. footage. Oh, wow, that was quick. Okay, perfect. Fantastic job. Oh, I'm going to take a photo of that, James. Yep, you betcha. We'll take Thank a photo. Thank you. Book release day, guys. Very excited. Watch this, James. Hey, Brenda Nelson popping in, saying congrats on the book release. Hey, Steve, oh, cool guy. James. Yeah, yeah. Here. Set it up. Here, slide everything this way. No, I'm just moving this for a second. Yep. And then oh, put the it. book. No, yeah. I got it. Is my leg in the way. I got Gosh, it. Guys, we're getting a little picture with our book. Guys, we dreamed of, uh, you know, we're huge Blondie fans. James, why don't you stand up? Yep, for a and to even have a small part. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Yep. With Chris perfect. Stein's introduction, just really tickles my fancy. I'll tell you that much. Hold on, you're gonna love it. Yeah, I love it already. Let's see, Pete. Mr. Boneman, if you're out there in the ether, that's go. for you. Here we go. So I'm going to move this off. Yep. So it doesn't, nothing happens to it right now. Yep, guys, I ordered the Neapolo. No, Negrini. Negrini. Negrino. Negrino, which is uh, eggs, poached Benedict, eggs, poached eggs on whole wheat toast, fries, and Carla got. A, with a cappuccino, and Carl got French toast, which is absolutely stunning. With, with a cappuccino and strawberries. Extra good. Guys, celebration day. Storefront NYC. James, I'm gonna make it float. 
Make it float, guys. With the syrup. Guys, when we used to go to the movie theater, they would ask Carla, does she want butter on her popcorn? And Carla would say, make it float. I'm going to tuck into this right now. We don't have any hand stuff, do we? In the bag. Okay. But I'm using a fork, so Yeah, I'm I don't using a fork, so I'm good. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, here I go. Carla's going in. For Stephen Fox, nine ninety nine. Congrats on the book. So happy that all your hard work and dreams are realized. Very special. Much Thank respect. You, Stephen. And give Hudson a kiss. We will do. Look, James, check it out. Oh, that looks sick. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Stephen, nice job. Mr. Merlin is oh, popping in. Congratulations on the new book, guys. I'd Extra love a copy. Good. Where can I purchase it from? Mr. Merlin, I see you have a British flag as your icon. Are you in um, London or Britain? Ready? James, with the strawberry. Oh. Mm. Oh, my God. Look at this, guys. Mm. Extra, extra good. Mm -hmm. Guys, this was a great idea upon the recommendation of the server to get the French toast. Yep, always go with what your server says. Guys, look at that. Mm. Mm. I saw that you included a fry in there. Yeah, always got to have the fry tucked under there, guys. You know me. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm missing Hudson already. Mm -hmm. Aren't you, James? Mm -hmm. Guys, hope you're all having a great Tuesday. James, you have a little salad. I see some tomatoes over there. So that's yeah, I'm like, going to have it with my eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm trying to balance everything not to... Uh, I know. Upset the apple cart. Make a mess. Stephen Fox, fantastic job. Roberto Hellman, popping in. Daniel in the house. Oh, Roberto, we saw your email, but Mr. we're not going to be able to make it oh, to the Oh, Somerset, today. UK. He should be able to get it, right? I'm sure they have it available in the UK because Prestel has offices in London. Yes, they do. I am having a wonderful time. This is what James's plate looks like. Cappuccino cam in the house. If you see her, just ask for some more napkins for uh, messy James. Here you go. Thanks, huh? Yeah, I'm, ha I'm having trouble. Why don't you let that one just mm -hmm. go yeah, right? fly away? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Guys, their French toast is extra, extra good. Mm -hmm. Extra good. Guys, welcome aboard. Do you need another napkin, James? I have one over here. Would that be helpful? No, I'm good. Absolutely fantastic job, Cafe Reggio. Brunch time. I like the fresh strawberries too. I keep on forgetting to add it. Mm. Because I took it off of there. Yeah. So I'm going to add it on there now. Yep. And I like the syrup in this tiny little thing. It's cute. Yep. Guys, you know, uh, Bob Dylan used to frequent here. Me still. From time to time, I don't know. Patty Smith as well. Patty Smith. Since 1927, it's been in business. Mm. You want to move this over so that can go closer to you? I got Would it. That be helpful. That's good. Oh yeah, 
forgot I forgot the strawberry again. I gotta I gotta put the strawberry in there. Mm -hmm. Right, James? Yeah. Hey Brad, twenty twenty three. Popping in. Cafe Reggio vibes. Mm. Greenwich Village guys. Book release day. Long and hard work. Always great to see the finished product. I didn't realize how hungry I was. How about yeah, you, James? Yeah, no, I didn't realize. Guys, t earlier today, we were up at the, uh, a little early for James and Carl, and we shot Mineta Tavern, which Just is down right the down street. the street. We'll show it to you. We'll show you the outside of it. Yeah. It's closed for lunch service. Yes. And uh, shot that thing, root to the fruit, beautiful inside, you know. Oh, historic. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, Coleslaw. Doesn't Dylan have songs about food? Because he was absent. A certain amount of songs. I'm not too sure. That sounds like Bob. Here's a uh, piece of a napkin for you. Yeah, if you find hand stuff, let me know. It's in your bag. My backpack or the camera? Your, ca your camera backpack. Okay. Hold the fort up there. Oh, I got you. James, I got you. I got it. There you go. There you go. Mm. Fantastic job. You need a little spray thing or here's a... No, no, I got it. I'm all good. This is perfect. Fantastic. And I have this. Would that help? And, uh, no, I'm good. And if you can get... Oh, they're all on the ground now. Don't worry about it. Nah, we're good. There's some sticky stuff here, so don't put the book there anymore. Sonia Perez is asking, huh, does the French toast have honey? No. It, it didn't, I didn't taste any honey. I think it was a standard, like, egg batter that it was dipped in. Yes. Wow. My Ningrino, right, is absolutely fantastic. Here, show on the menu. If you get a menu, show what we got. What a yeah, Ningrino I have, um, is. stickiness on my hand, so I'm just going to, mm -hmm. you know, from the... Oh, here's this. No. This is great for that. Guys, we're tucking into our brunch. We had a busy morning. Mm -hmm. And when you say it was absolutely fantastic, uh, oh, extra good. Oh yeah, I'm done. He's still. I'm a. I'm a fast eater. And if I, we could get more water, that would be great. When you get a chance, thank you. These water cups are so small. Yeah. That French toast is making me thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That pretzel. Mm -hmm. It's making me thirsty. If you know what I mean, guys. Oh, yeah. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to just tuck that over there, James. Is yeah. that off camera? It's off camera. So, guys, I'm going to show you again. This is our storefront NYC book. And Cafe Reggio is one of the businesses that we highlighted. It's all about small, yep. independently owned businesses. Books out today, guys, if you haven't heard. Me and Carla are proud of it. I think the printing, photography, where is it printed? Czech Republic? I think so, yes. Mm. Chris Stein wrote the introduction from Blondie. You know, we're huge Blondie fans. So let me give them some more of a preview. Uh, yeah. Let's dip out of Greenwich Village and let's go to some other... Hi, hip focus, yep. Our our favorite typewriter store where we get our typewriters uh, repaired. Hey, Andy S. You can see some of the typewriters TV Metro. in our uh, Instagram post today. If you just want to check us out on Instagram, here's some probably an old favorite that you might remember from That was one Square. of my old favorites. Howard Johnson. The double dogs. They come with fries and two hot dogs. 
and it was like three ninety nine back in the day. One of our favorites because look at it has our last name, Murray yep. Sturgeon Shop. Yep, Lex Candy. Make a beautiful hamburger. That's egg cream. And an egg cream, lovely egg creams. M and G Soul Food Diner yep. in Harlem. Uh, a beautiful place. Oh my God, amazing. Joanne Key. Joanne K Y, nine ninety nine. Congratulations, James and Carl on the book. Oh, thank you, the Joanne. The book is awesome. Your photography is beautiful, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Fantastic. Is that Joanne Kai, or Joanne? Um, K Y is the last name. K little Y. Oh, extra good. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Just run wild. Oh, corporal. Wine. A little sneak peek. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to Brooklyn, guys. It has all the five boroughs. Oh, Roger's tired. Mama Luisa's, don't want to blow that spot up, but it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, one of our favorite donut shops Yep. in Greenpoint. Peter Pan. Court Street Pastry, extra mm -hmm. good, Italian ices. Oh, um, one of Hudson approved spots, the Farra Pizza. Yep, didn't miss meats and poultry, he was wonderful. And I wore this shirt um, when we bought the feast on Saturday night. Hey, you know, Teresa Aust. James, if you want to hit focus the Lenny's Pizza. Yep. It, uh, sadly, it, it closed. Carla wore the shirt to the um, feast. To the feast on Saturday. How many night. storefront photos are in the book? And we're uh, on the runs fast. Uh, uh, around 200. Just under 200. Yep. Oh, Ridgewood. Ridgewood 237. Look. Is Ridgewood in the chat? Yes. Ridgewood was in here earlier. You're hey, love Teresa this Aust. One. Daniel popping in. Hold on, we didn't forget about Staten Island. And here's a preview of uh, some from Staten Island. Yep. We got all five boroughs in there, guys. Wow, it's windy today, right? Have a good day. James? Yeah. Oh my days, that was delicious. Extra good? Oh. Yeah, hey. Mm. Guys, I finished my cappuccino. It was really good. James, you have a lot of your cappuccino. You can nurse that now. Yeah. Guys, wonderful day in Greenwich Village. Thanks for popping in. Ask that boy in the chat. Can the book be found nationwide? Yes. yes. M -well on the road. It can. Joe Hernandez, J. Dash says, book was a great concept. Oh, thank you. Like, I mean, honestly, guys. Oh, it's Joy in Kentucky. Oh, extra good. Joy in Kentucky. Thanks for that. Christian Hansen. I think it's when J and K strike a rich, they're going to open up their own classic storefront <gasps> with a fancy shine. Even if it's empty, it can be used as a social club to do puzzles and play cards. A pizza club. Christian Hansen. That would be fantastic. A pizza club for Hudson. Yep. And Roberto Hellman wishing us happy anniversary. Oh, thank you, Roberto. And Richwood 237 says, ah, yes, Rudy's. Ah, yeah, you knew we had to include Hayden it. Hayden Overeem, popping so, in. So, guys, it's available in bookstores in the United States hey, Paul today. McDonough. I don't know if it's available in the UK yet. I'm not really sure on that because um, I'm not, but I, I, I know it's published. Uh, it might take more time. I don't know if it's in stores in the UK and Germany, but Prestel, um, you know, is is an international publisher. They have offices in London and Munich, so I'm sure you can find the book where wherever you live. Yep. Fifi Lee shouting out film cameras with Nolton Cannon. Yep, we still use film, guys. We have a old is, graphics. This is shot with 35 millimeter film. This this photo is 35 millimeters. You know, many many of them because you know when we photograph, we started this in the early late 1990s early 2000s that's before like <laughs> digital photography really took uh you know yeah took a hold uh a commonplace you know yes and uh keith havens popping in hey paul mcdonough mcdonough's over in merseyside right liverpool area paul mcdonough nice job popping in today wishing us congrats on the book Damon Dunn, popping in. Thanks for hanging out with us, Damon Dunn. I appreciate that. Yep. 
I'm just having some of your water, James. Terry T. I found your book on Amazon UK, guys. Oh, Terry T. John good. Cipolla popping in. Hey, Karen, popping in. Welcome aboard. On the count. Guys, we're really excited. You know, uh, we've been busy the last few weeks getting this thing out, getting our other book done for next year, working on uh, regular work work, work, and, work, and dealing with Hudson, keeping him occupied. I'm not dealing with, I'm entertaining That's, him. I'm joking. Are you, guys, I was laughing behind the camera. We don't deal with Hudson. Hudson deals with us. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Guys, if you're ever in the area. Oh, Paul McDonough said I just got back from San Francisco. In Deb UK said so just checked it is in the UK. Oh, thank you for checking. John Sapolo, That's Hudson's more than a child to us. I thought that it was out uh, everywhere is released today. John Sapolo, Hudson is my little homie. Guys, we're on McDougal Street, right by Manetta Lane. We shot Manetta Tavern earlier. This Carla. Is all, this and is me. between West Third and Manetta. When is the book signing? Karen's asking. Oh, the, our first event is this Thursday, guys. This right. Thursday night. Village Works Gallery, 12 St. Mark's Place, between right 6 in the to thick 8 of p.m. We'll be doing a book signing event and um, exhibition opening reception. Sylvia W. from Argentina. Argentina popping in. Oh, and then Congrats on the book. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Thank you. Sonia Perez. In October, you have a podcast. Yes. And uh, Saturday, October 7th, is our, is our weekend book event where, of course, everyone is invited to any of our events. They're always free and open to the public. Saturday, October 7th, also at Village Works Gallery, uh, we'll be having some of our framed uh, photographs of our storefronts from the book up on the gallery, and we'll be selling signed copies of our book, and, uh, and it'll be extra good. Thanks for that, Teresa. I'll say in St. Mark's, be there, be square. <laughs> there, there you go. Yep, all the hip, uh, you know, you and your friends, flashy. Always making the scene. Welcome aboard. Extra, extra good. Joe Burgess saying, wish I could be there. We'll be going to other launches in the other boroughs. James and Carly. Yeah, there'll be other launches. We're just trying to work out and keep our head above water right now. 8C. We're finishing our bar book. We're getting this one out. We're doing, uh, we've got a bunch of events planned. Yes. But, um, we're going to be announcing them all. We're going to do like a whole calendar of yeah, events. It's Free book talks. One arm paper hanger. Illustrated book talks. We're going to be having a lot of events. We'll be putting them up on our community page so you guys can yep. all see the, uh, about it. No problem. Hey, Johnny Walclairs, popping in. Thanks for hanging out with if us today. If you miss one, there'll always be another. Yep. You don't have to worry. And we'll be live streaming a lot of them. Most of them. All of them. We'll be live streaming. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Extra good, right? That cappuccino? Yeah. Guys, this is the birthplace of the cappuccino for in the United States. It's the first cafe to introduce cappuccino right here yep. in New York City. Local folks know we love you guys. Teresa Austin saying right in our own neighborhood, Teresa, I know that. So grateful for you. Thanks for that. Thank While you, Bill says, Jimmy, don't turn your body into an amusement park. Hey, that's always good advice. Mr. Bill, always thinking of me. Your body's in Wonderland. <laughs> he went to, John Mayer went to Fairfield High. From right 19, in my neck of the woods. 1927 Cafe Reggio, James. Yeah. Should we yeah. show the picture of Cafe Reggio and yeah. again? Hey, Enrique Martinez, pop it in. What kind of camera did you use for the pictures in the book? Coleslaw, great question. That's a great question. In fact, I think we talked yeah. about that in our podcast too. It's always been uh, Canon cameras. Now, because hey. the book was uh, different times, there's a couple of different cameras that we use. Um, but the Yeah, Fifi Lee, we do have a camera collection. Yes. The majority of the time we use film, a right. Canon V1, I believe. No, the one, um, one V. V. One um, V. But, you but know, James prior, would mess prior it up. to that was a Canon um, EOS Elan. Uh, a lot of these older photos were taken with the Canon, um, it's a 35 millimeter as well, uh, EOS Elan. It wasn't expensive a camera. To us guys, it's never been about the camera equipment. It's like you don't need a, an expensive camera. Um, and also, um, you know, we used inexpensive film. We used uh, Kodak. 400. Um, Kodak.
back just the, the gold 400 uh, yeah. speed Yeah, all belt. regular everyday equipment. Right. Nowadays, we got fancy. We have the 1V, which right, we still our, use for storefronts. Right, that's, uh, that's 35 And my millimeter. favorite camera to work with right now is our Speed Graphics, Graflex. Yes. It was the same camera medium used by... Medium format. Medium format, same camera used by Bernie Savitt and uh, Ouija. Right. So Fifi Lee, nice call on that. But we also, I mean, we might as well show it, uh, James, if you want to yep. get it. So Our digital camera. Me. I'll hand you the bag. Without knocking the whole table, ass over tea kettle. Just take that and put it on your lap if you don't yep. have any napkins or anything. Broccoli says, Cafe Reggio is green like me. Sonia Perez. Broccoli says, I like this place. James. Good color. James, James had two. Let's just show everybody. James had a cherry tomato cut in half with his breakfast. Guys, so now. Very for, healthy. For our professional photography, for hey, our Jason arch Morris. architectural photography, this is the camera that we're using for digital. Jason it's Morris went to went to some of these places in the book as a child. Oh, oh my God, he was born in Brooklyn. 5D Mark IV. That's what we're and using now for our right interior. right now is a 20 millimeter fixed lens on there, yep. prime uh, 20 millimeter lens. Film, film photography is a different landscape now in that finding someone who actually develops it, not just digitally scans the negatives, is a uh, is a chore. So in the speed of turnaround for this uh, project, no, the interiors. No, it's not even that. It's just, uh, it's, it's a... Uh, for our architectural clients, we primarily They want the shoot, hyper clarity too. Well, we primarily shoot digital because, um, you know, like James said, we need a fast turnaround time. Yes. Have you ever used a 4x5 film camera, Johnny yes. Wickers? Yes. We've used pretty much everything we learned from uh, the ground up. Mm -hmm. Johnny uh, Wickers, we're all self-taught. We started with a basic, basic camera and taught ourselves. Right. The first time I used, learned to use a tripod was in the subway tunnel. James, going way back, I, um, I mean, in I guess it would be like in the late 70s or early 80s, I even had a 110 camera. And remember the ones with the flash bulbs on the top, James? Yep. Those yeah. inexpensive ones oh, yeah, growing up as a kid. 110. Yeah. yeah. The 110, the 128. Yep. Or 123. 120. 120. Um, I had every garbage camera you can imagine. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it never stopped us. Show the book cover again. That's out today. Storefront, Prestel. NYC, Prestel Publishing, a division of Random House, forward by Blondie's Chris Stein. Co-founder of Blondie. You know we're huge fans of Chris Stein. I mean, we love his book, Point of View. Extra good, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a photographer a musician, in his own right. Right, he's a photographer as well. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I was blinded by a flashbulb for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, remember those? And then they would burn. Remember, yep. and the, James, remember the one that you had to turn? James, remember the cube? And then you would turn it? Yeah, they would spin. It would turn. It would right. turn. Like, you would, like it would um, burn out one, and then you would turn it so you could use it again yep. for another another frame. One of my uncles had the uh, this big battery pack he would sling around his shoulder. Oh my god. And then the, you would hold the flash up. It was like a stick with a big round silver thing on yes, top. Yes, yes. Just to take pictures of us at Christmas and stuff. He got really <laughs> carried away with it. He would stand up on the couches and stuff, you know. He would uh, do it to it. Oh, so he fancied himself a professional. He did. He was an advanced amateur, <laughs> to say the least. I like this Kermit t-shirt coming down here. Very nice. Oh, that is cool. Yep, Kermit. So James, should I grab a menu and just show what, show yeah, what, what we Yeah, what we ate, had? and then we'll uh, take a stroll. So guys, brunch, brunch is served from 9 to 4. James got the Negrino. Negrino. Negrino, which was two poached eggs over whole grain toast, melted European cheese, uh. and served with French fries or arugula salad. Yeah, James opted course, for French fries. James opted for the French Broccoli's fries. Broccoli's going to smack me around later. He's going to throw me in a corner and smack me around. But I did have a cherry tomato cut in half. No, I was originally going to order the omelet, but instead, right. the waitress suggested the French toast, which I was, you know, thinking about, okay. and that was extra good. Served with Fantastic. butter, syrup, choice of fresh strawberries, which I opted for, and then we both got cappuccinos. Yeah, they're absolutely delicious. I'm just finishing up mine. That beautiful foam. Extra good. So I'm going to put this back. That was delicious. It was 
extra good. Look at that, he had an Espo shirt. James, he was wearing an Espo shirt. Oh, he was? Yeah, that's an Espo oh, shirt. Oh, nice. Our friend Espo. Arugula is underrated word. It's almost like yodeling. Huh? Arugula. <laughs> yep, oh, the net broke her toe. HC oh, no. teachers letting everybody know. Hope the net feels fast. Broken toe is no fun. You had that. Yeah, and I and my, my toe was so swollen that I had to wear your sneaker. Because um I wear a men's size nine, but right. my toe was so swollen I couldn't fit into you my wore one of my sneakers. That I had to I fit into James's size eleven sneaker. Oh Karen wants to so see big. some more uh, some more photos from the book. We can do that. Guys, we're on McDougal Street, Greenwich Village style. Bob Dylan, haunt. You know, James is pumped up. Yeah, you want to um, Yeah, let me uh, narrate. Focus in? Yeah. No, just hit focus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to tilt it a little bit. It's blown out. Look at that, Balthazar. That's a new one. This is just a, a quick flip. You know, it's, it's windy, guys, so it's hard to hold it. Yeah. Yeah. We can favorite. go by there. Yeah. White horse, love that. Yeah. Fantastic. There's just a little. There's one of my favorites. Howard Johnson's Times Square. It's an American Eagle now. Oh, James Corn, Kaufman Army and Navy. Amy's bread. Oh, extra good. We're in the Hell's Kitchen area. Marty Lewis, if you're watching. Hey, Marty Lewis just popped in. JD here. Oh, hey, Marty. Hey, Marty. Extra good. Here's some Brooklyn. Hey, Marty. It was book release day. James and Carla Murray's storefront NYC book release. Hey, there's Bermonti's where we went with Danette and Anthony. Yep. Hey, remember Danette and Anthony? We went to Bermonti's. You got it. Yeah, it's over, guys. It's a beautiful sunny day in the village. Strand television. I love that show. And some set. Brenda Island. Nelson, Laguli Shop in Astoria, Queens, in business yes. since 37. Brenda yes, Nelson that's saying. Here. You spotted yeah. that. Extra yeah, good nice job, Brenda, Brenda Nelson. So, you want to uh, take a little stroll? Yeah, I have to pay first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just <laughs> diamond dash. James just kind of wanders away haphazardly. Did you want to show inside one last time for the people that just joined us? Sure. Yeah, we doubled, so. So, guys, Cafe Reggio is one of the small businesses that we highlighted in our new book that's just being um, just published today. Today is the official release date for the book. And we're outside of Cafe Reggio, which has been in business since 1927. Now I'm going to show you the inside of Cafe Reggio because this is this place is historic. They, they introduced cappuccino to the United States. And I'm going to show you the, the original cappuccino machine. But the owner spent his life savings bringing it from Italy. This is their original cappuccino machine. Isn't that stunning? Look at that, guys. Look at the angel on top. Do you see the angel on top? This is what, when they first opened in 1927, the owner made all the cappuccino using this cappuccino maker. Of course, um, they don't use it anymore, but it still stands in its place of honor inside this beautiful, beautiful storefront. You can see there's original oil paintings on the wall. It's a very cozy atmosphere. Of course, um, we just we decided to to go outside because we were live streaming. But it's a it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Down the street is Manetta Tavern. I took off the bottom. Gotcha. How are you guys doing? Hey, thanks for that. Oh. <laughs> that was uh, who helped us out at Manetta Tavern. Aaron, the manager. Yes. The book oh, is about for you. Look at all the doggos. We love doggos. Oh. There they go. Doggos. Guys, so happy to have you celebrating our book release day. Sorry we missed our uh, Monday trivia puzzle build, Lego oh. build. James, you want me to pack, this, be... pack this up? Yep. So guys, I'm going to put this away in our bag. And we're going to walk, 
we're going to walk down the street and show another location that's uh, in this book, another mom and pop store. We're going to make a left on Bleecker. Yes. And we're going to show that. All right. All right. Yep. Yeah. And we'll say hi to Jamal, of course. Of course. Say hi to Jamal. So let me just um, put this away, James. NYPD gets their coffee here. That's good enough for me. Yeah. High enough recommendation for me. If you see firemen getting sandwiches and police getting coffee, you know the place is dynamite. Dynamite. They know the area. They've been around the block. They know it's cooking. Espo t-shirt. Thank you. Stephen Powers. Yeah, he's our, <laughs> he's our friend. We noticed it right away when you walked by. I said, oh, that's one of the Espo shirts. Yeah, my wife works with them. Oh, oh nice. In Brooklyn, right? Yeah, yeah, nice. Cool. Have a good yeah. one. Espo t-shirt. Fantastic job, our buddy Stephen Powers. We met back in our graffiti days. Yep. We should visit his store again, a live stream. We only did a recorded video. Yes. We, no, we did photos, basically. Yes. He said we should come out, right? Yeah, we'll definitely have to do that. Yeah, five. Times Square. Yeah, I feel like Times Square. I'm just uh, putting away some of our stuff, okay, James? Yep. Um, do you want me to go? Hey, on? Shirley popping in. Shirley, Hi, it's our Shirley. book release day. Shirley, our storefront NYC is out today. Thanks for popping in, saying howdy do. Cayenne and Maria in the house. Carla, protect the book. <laughs> yep. Hey, Terrence and Mick Jordan saying welcome back to NYC. Thanks for that. Cafe Reggio is adorable. Brenda Nelson, you know it. Emily Gangadi saying hey. Should I, go, should I um, Yeah, go. Uh, Yep. I'm just happy Mr. Chu didn't win again. <laughs> oh, Paul McDonough went to the oldest bar in San Francisco. Oh, I mean, It was like a saloon. Oh, nice. Next time I see her, I'll ask for the check, James. Yeah. And then we're going to take a nice little stroll. And then go home for the Hudson. Yep. One of my favorite aspects of the book is that Chris Stein wrote the introduction. It was so nice of him, so generous. Yeah. You know, he's our favorite, uh, Blondie's one of our, I mean, top, top, top groups. And Chris Stein, founding member. A f awesome photographer in his own right. So we're very excited about that. Hey, Wendy. Wendy's just popping in to say hello. And congratulations. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Thank you. Yep. This is a day release day for Paul McDonough. You know, he's, he's on day release. You know, from, uh, you know, the trap. <laughs> warm enough? Yeah, should I go in and... Uh... Yeah, yeah, take care of that. And then, guys, the cappuccino is delicious. Hey, Dawn Watkins. Happy and excited for us. We appreciate that, Dawn Burke Watkins. I can't believe how exciting it is. We, uh, and to see it, uh, number one on Amazon oh, we have for street for, photography. We have oh, there she is. Yep, there she is. Oh, yeah, we're all set. Thank you. There she is. Love the Polaroid camera. Beautiful camera. <laughs> he had a nice, uh, vintage Polaroid. I saw that. Yep, did a fantastic job with that. <laughs> Doing good. Greenwich Village on a Tuesday afternoon, in the thick of it, wouldn't you say? We got a late brunch, 2 p.m. or so. We can always swing up to uh, Strand also if you want. After that, just cut uh, through. I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. Well, that's a separate one, right? Yeah. Guys, Gaslight Cafe was on here. I have a Bob Dylan recording. It was only released through Starbucks, believe it or not, on CD. Bob Dylan live at the Gaslight. 63, I believe. Hmm. And they have a picture of this very spot, from this very spot. Extra good. And it's an absolutely stunning recording of Bob when he cared enough to make the audience laugh. He cared what people thought. And then, of course, the amount of, uh, I wouldn't say abuse he took, but amount of... Uh, 
what he had to deal with. He became less and less concerned with that as, as his career went on until he wow. really didn't give a damn what anyone thought. McDougal was one of his haunts. I mean, he lived yeah. on McDougal Street. Just yeah, but he was still funny. It was like a, you know, he still wanted to make the audience laugh at that point. He did a fantastic job. Mr. Lingo, the dog walkers are really normally over there. Yep, Mr. Lingo, you betcha. Somewhere down the road, it's a great bakery on your front page, guys. Oh, yes, and the Vesuvio. Yes, yep, that's the, the cover Street. of our new book, Somewhere right. Down the Road. That was the original Vesuvio that's in our book when it was an Italian bread bakery. Yep. Now it's still called Vesuvio Bakery, but it's oh. uh, different. Yep, Karen, we'll be showing some more in a little bit. Her, her phone dropped out, and oh. she's just back. But Karen, we'll be showing that in a little bit. We're going to take a little stroll next. To take a photo in front of. Oh yeah, the uh, Vesuvio. yeah Vesuvio. But it's, but it's different now. You know, yeah, so. but we'll take a walk over there. Another one. I know. Yeah, we got tons to do, guys. See Cafe Reggio. Cafe Reggio, 1927, tenement style building. I'm so glad you guys are hanging out with us today. Really, really, really appreciate it. Yeah, Barry Gamberg. We had work this morning. Yes. Uh, we shot the famed oh. Moneta Tavern. Interior. And we could not bring Hudson in there. Just wouldn't have been right. Well, and Aaron just... was nice to let, let, let us have free reign of the, of the place and shot beautiful photos. It's a gorgeous place inside. They make a delicious hamburger. And we did a short little video. And we did a short little video, which we'll share with you guys. But that's for next year's project. Right. Which we've never had a book come out. Of interior photography. Within two weeks of having another book due. <laughs> it's a massive amount of work and we have our whole apartment is full of boxes of books and framed photos for Joey's Village Works storefront gallery. Village Works gallery. Yeah, very special day for sure, HC teacher. Why is Hudson not with you? Tiger Lily 2013? Yeah, we were working earlier this morning. We had an architectural shoot this yeah, morning. Yeah, down this morning in, in Hudson. It just wouldn't have been right to drag Hudson through the uh, historic restaurant and bar. Well, they were doing prepping. They're doing prepping and stuff, and, and sometimes, you know, like Rudy's, we brought them to because we know Dan, the owner. Right. And, uh, well, it's a dive Danny. bar. Danny, yeah, it's, it's a, dive a dive bar. bar. And, and he said, fine, let Hudson but sleep in a, a booth. this is a, a, like a finer establishment. It's a way finer. You know, it's not way finer than Rudy's. I think Rudy's is one of the best no, I mean fine in the dining. world. Fine yeah, exactly. Dining. Rudy's bar is one of the best in the world. Danny runs a fantastic show over there. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, Aussie Fly Girl. Hudson's for chilling at home. You no. got it. Well, I mean, yeah, I feel better because I love I'm busy it. working on his pizza novel. Can I ask any other books for sale? Karen saying yes. Um, do we have any others? Oh, you mean any other of our? Like our New York Knights or no, Broken all Windows? Out of print. Yep. We're concentrating on this one right now. Storefront NYC. You know, I had a Negrino here, which was a poached egg. Eggs. On, uh, on a whole grain toast, whole grain toast with melted European cheese, melted, a melted three European cheese blend. It was absolutely stunning and French fries. A side of fries. And, and one cherry tomato cut in half, which James now feels he's got his fruit and vegetable. Should I get the menu again and show it? No, we're good. Happy release day, guys! Tiger Lily 2013. Thanks for Thank that. Thank you, Tiger Lily. We've gotten good feedback on the book. Coleslaw said, I could take your photos and make an activity book out of them. Should I go Like a coloring book, word search, yeah. Oh, that would be a dynamite coloring book, you bet. Oh, perfect. I'm going to use, should I follow you? Because I'm going to use the Apple Pay. Um, uh, yes, if you'd like to. Oh, perfect, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Cecilia Wilson. Oh, thanks for that, Cecilia. Book signing in October. We'll be there for you. Mr. Lingo. Yeah, Hudson Plushy. That would be absolutely fantastic. Hey, Christian Hansen. Just an absolutely beautiful day. 
Greenwich Village style. Sorry if I was holding and squeezing the microphone. James is excited. He's pumped up. A little tired. There was a big uh, Mineta Tavern. Was a big shoe for us for our great bars in New York City book. Beautiful day, Greenwich Village, Mineta Lane, in McDougal, right here. Cafe Y, you know, Bob Dylan got a start there. Bruce Springsteen played there. Jimi Hendrix. This is my uh, wheelhouse, you could say. One of my favorite spots on earth. Been to Paris, been to London. Nothing beats Cafe Reggio on McDougal. One of our favorite places in Paris, if you've been there, was Le Dome. Montparnasse. Can I order your book on Amazon? JD here, yes. We recommend an independent bookseller, but it is on Amazon right now and doing pretty well. Number one in street photography this morning. Thanks, Wendy's going to email us. Tim Hall said good evening from beautiful Gdansk, Poland. We're paid and everything's set. That is beautiful, Tim. We were over in Krakow not too long ago and we loved it. Had a fantastic time in Poland. Yeah, and then once you get set, I'll give you this, and then I'll put my backpack on and everything. There are already used copies for sale, Coleslaw's saying. Of our book? It's, it's, it's out today, no used. Yeah, no, I'm not, not sure. Yet. JD here is ordering it. Thanks for that, JD here. Fantastic job. Oh, yeah, he's in Canada, right? Yep. Yeah, guys, I mean, international shipping is so expensive. I looked it up and it's like uh, sixty dollars to ship it. Like it's more than the, the cost of the book to ship it. You have this is mine, right? Overseas. Yep. Here we go. Okay, so let I'm me get, get that. I'm gonna get my backpack on. We, we're all square with that, right? Yep. I paid. Everything is set. Okay, guys. So perfect. This was fabulous. We highlighted a small business that is in our book, Storefront NYC, that is uh, out today, Cafe Reggio, in business since 1927. So, the whole reason we started our YouTube channel is to help support independently owned businesses. And we are happy to celebrate our book release day by uh, supporting one of the businesses that's highlighted in our book. Now. Earlier this morning, and this is the reason we don't have Hudson with us. Oh, should I sh shoot this again? It's totally cloudy now. Yeah, might as well. And the, how about the whole thing? Do you need that? Uh, or are you like our nightmare? I like it, but you could shoot it. Get as close as you can with the 20 up to that peak with the neon sign, and we're good. Gosh, we're going to take a quick photo here on the corner of Manetta Lane and McDougal. Gaslight Cafe was down over this way. That's, a, that's on the street? Yep, got it. Right on the prow. That's perfect, hon. My dad is going to love your book. He's retired NYPD. Thanks for his service, Wendy. And walked past many of the iconic stories highlighted in your book for years. Fantastic. Hey, Aussie fly girl, Wendy. That's a great, great comment. I hope he enjoys it, and thanks again for his service. I have to wait till that. See that yellow thing? Yep. Onion Ring Cam, Sonia Perez. You know Onion Ring Cam. Carlos taking a picture of these gold inlay in the front door. Look at this site, guys. Just take a minute. Look at the beauty of this. Cafe Wa. Look at this. Honestly, I don't think there's a better spot in the whole world. It's just one of my absolute oh, favorite nice. spots. Yep. Guys, we couldn't shoot this earlier because there was uh, there was it was sun on it, and yep. now look at oh, it. Oh, Alan Levy's daughter eats Minetta all the time. Oh, look at that! Oh, we just shot a root to the fruit, Alan. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, what a difference, right? Yeah. Now, little I, light makes. I have. Do you think? Do you want to take out those cones? Yeah. How far? Would you I cut it. I cut it at the door. How far would you want to be? I back? cut it at the door. That's good, just wait a sec. See, I just want that big red, I want that big yellow thing out of there. Yeah. You see how that? Yeah, yeah. no, no, you gotta get closer. Closer. Little, no, 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 you got it, because I'm gonna crop it from there. But don't, don't worry too much about the yellow. 
but we might as well wait a second and have them out. See the yellow bin for Amazon over there, guys? Yeah, we we're just going to wait a second. That in our in our photo, we're going to take another exterior photo. We have exterior photos, but we just want to take. We just always one. like to be armed with many. Right. Guys, you have to have plenty to work with, and then edit from there. Exactly. That's a look at this day, guys. Look at this day. Look at quaint little Manetta. No one around, right? Why don't you just ask him if you could just slide his bin over a little bit? He's going to give up. Are all the storefronts in your book still open? No. Mwall on the run. A, a good number of them is closed, and some have even closed between. More, more than half are still in business today. While the project was happening. More than half are still in business from Carla. James, I, I want you to see something. Yep. What's up? Yeah, let me see. Perfect. What yeah, it's want. perfect. I just have to wait for, you know, people. Yep, perfect. Yeah. Tell me when I'm, you know. Yep, perfect. Tell me when I'm perfect. Yep. That's, you know. Absolutely beautiful job. Just go like that. Yep. No. An absolute fantastic job. Guys, this is looking west down Mineta. This is looking south down if Becky's in the chat. This is looking south down McDougal. And this is looking east, back towards our place. And then here is north. Yeah, that's a hox. And uh, let it rip. Because I'm going to crop it down. I'm, I'm doing gold. Yeah, and well, we like to think of the book as a... It's ISO 640. That's good. We I'm like to think of our book as an Irish wake for the ones that are closed. No, a no, celebration no. rather than a morose lament. Gotcha. Hey, Wild Bill. Hey, Keith Havens. Oh, I got you. Hey, Johnny R. Johnny R. popping in. Here's Cafe Wa. Right here. In the Players Theater building. Bruce Springsteen. Bob Dylan. I think you're good, huh? I think you're good. Is there a more beautiful spot? Oh, Johnny R's not far from us, our Waverly. Oh, right down the west there. Beautiful. So there's Cafe Reggio down the way. The Cafe Wa House Band. Let's head around the corner here. There's a beautiful picture of Jimmy. Jimmy Hendrix. Alfred Clues. Your book is available from Amazon Canada. Thanks for that, Alfred Kluse. Thanks for letting us know. Oh, thanks for that, Alan Levy. Beautiful job. How are you? Okay, perfect. Now we have a daytime one, just in case. That's beautiful. Absolutely perfect. You wouldn't need it any other way, right? No other way. I can't think of it. What? Guys, look at these old tenement buildings. Yeah, the Aussie flagger loves the color, the architecture of these places. Yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. You can't have too many colors. <laughs> stunning location. This is your Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. 
We always say hi. Wendy also loves to uh, support independent shops, but it's available at Target and Barnes and Noble. Wow. Thanks for that, Wendy. Give me that. Yep. Put it on my shoulder. You sure? Positive. No, nope, positive. Okay. Or it's a pizza. You guys know that. Okay, guys, so we're going to walk down McNugal, and our plan is to go to another location of an independent store that is highlighted in our new book, Storefront NYC, because that's what this live stream is about today, highlighting some of the places that are highlighted in our new book. Hey, here's Monty's. This is an extra good Italian restaurant, Monty's. That was the owner, Pietro, down, uh, he was fixing the sign. I didn't want to bother him because he looked like yeah, he was he, worked, you know. he was concentrating, fixing that sign. I'm going to need the external battery. Our professional camera is heavy. Hey, look, yes. they reopened a place called Figaro. Yes. Remember, that used to be a big place uh, back in the 80s, Cafe Figaro. Extra good. David Holmes has a song about it. So guys, another location that's uh, that's highlighted in our book. We're going to be, we just got coffee at Cafe Reggio, but oh, there uh, Hi, Jamal. How are you? How are you? Hello. How are you? Oh, guys, his, this is Jamal. He's the owner of Village Revival Records. And look, he got a new, a new sign. So now the sign matches the name of the store. It's no more, it's no more, uh, you know, different, different uh, name. It's everything is set. So how's everything been, Jamal? Being good? Yeah, we were, we were away for a little while, but we're back now and been uh, keeping busy, keeping busy. Right. How about you guys? All right, still here. Good. I see. I see you had a little um, show uh, yeah, for the album. Uh, nice. For yeah. Guys, this is an amazing Hello, vinyl record uh, shop. Not only does he have used vinyl records, but he has a lot of new releases. And on Record Store Day, he is one of the shops that literally has every release that's that's released on record store day you can always find everything you need village revival right in the heart of greenwich village the owner jamal is so knowledgeable about so many different kinds of music if you're uh, uh, curious about something please go in ask jamal oh what do you think um can you get this record for me and he'll let you know he knows literally everything he um, the nicest store owner that could ever possibly be it's it's true and right here on in the heart of Greenwich Village on Bleecker Street just steps away she steps away from 7th Avenue and right here McDougal Street not not too far away you can get a, a beautiful coffee in, in two doors down we're gonna show that in a second James is just checking the inventory inside and look even some 78s you you hardly ever see 78s anymore I mean in fact the, like I think the um like a modern vinyl um, record player only has 33 and 45 they don't even have some yeah they come now with the three speeds yeah they play 78s, 33s, and then 7. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And now I have a... Uh, this is for rent. So if you know anybody... Aww. Uh, these guys left. Uh, they left me with the uh, fixed financial crisis now. Oh, because that's part of your rent is that store as well. Oh, yeah. guys, listen. If you're thinking of opening a small business, Jamal has it's 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 liter it's part of his storefront. It's this space is for rent. How many square feet is this? It's close to 500. Close to 500 but square it's feet. Beautiful inside. Beautiful inside. Nice. I, um, it goes it goes pretty pretty deep inside, guys. So if you're anybody out there is looking for a, a storefront location, 
this is a very busy street. This is a very, very, very desirable location right in the heart of Greenwich Village on Bleecker Street. And basically, uh, you would be you would be one on one with with Jamal. So I mean, uh, yeah, any idea will work except the smoke shop. I don't want smoke shop. Except. Right, right. No, we we have enough. enough. We have enough uh, smoke shops slash cannabis locations. Um, we don't need any more on on this street. So um, anything else um, would work. Um, of course, you know. Uh, Probably not something that needed gas, right? Like that, you know, a restaurant that would need gas. That would be a whole different. Yeah, it's not wired a, for that. Yeah, maybe drinks would work. And right. Very, something yes, that didn't require a lot of cooking because exactly, it's not. Exactly. No cooking. Right. It's not. A, it's not a. It's not vented for um, for restaurant use. You know, like if you're going to do a lot of cooking, you need a separate ventilation system and things like that. I mean, you know, this is all stuff that you can ask Jamal about. But give this give this uh, phone number 646-692-9580 and he'll give you um, all the details about how much the monthly rent is and everything like that so guys if you're looking oh look at James that Dean. James Dean oh my god this is a calendar actually Here go. <laughs> a calendar oh my god from what year is that what does it say in the front there it's in the front 1992. 1992. <laughs> Metal Church, the dark good album cover. Oh, where, where did you spot that? Was that in the window? Oh, Paul McDonough was spotting it. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, and then look at that. Oh, what's that? The box set of George Michael? Oh, wow. Yep. That's a big box set, guys. Yep. It's got everything in there somewhere. Yeah, so guys, if you're looking for us, um, to open a little uh, mom and pop store of your own, uh, right next door to Village Re uh, Revival Records, uh, 500 square feet, it's for rent. Give Jamal a call. Jamal, so good to see you, good extra, see extra you good. Guys. And yeah, we'll get together soon. Listen, um, I mean, I know you're usually glued to the store, but um, Thursday evening, we're having a little uh, book release party. Yeah, um, on, yeah, in, yeah, yeah on St. Yeah. Mark's, but you, you're probably what time? from six to eight, you know, if you can get away from the store, six but if you can, okay. we understand. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. good to see I'll you. Be there for you. Thank you. Place. Thank you, Jamal. Fantastic. And we love you. And I love you too. Good we to hope see you guys. nice seeing I'll, you. I'll put the word out about, you know, yeah, your storefront. Hopefully you find somebody soon because otherwise, you know, you're on the hook for all of it. You know, we understand. Bye, Jamal. Okay, guys, Bye, Jamal. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. So, James, I'm going to just get out the book for a second. All right. I'm just going to hang back over here. I think that would be perfect. Guys, look at this day. Greenwich Village, late summer. I don't know if you could do a better weather right now. If you said, give me the best weather day possible. Oh, this would be up there. This would be there. I mean, it would be, it would be there. Hold on, because I can just go right to it, okay? Oh my God, the smell is so good, James. Yeah, Jamal's very sweet, Brenda. Hey, your Maradoma with the t hamsters are here. There it is. Beautiful. You want to go in the front? Yeah, it's a great time of year, Ray. Fantastic. Beautiful. Let's keep strolling, right? Guys, many of these stories, stores in the book, are featured. Have a huge following and they're very old this is since 1907 1907 puerto rico importing and they, and they you see the sign right here they roast their coffee. i mean the, the smell coming from this store is amazing guys. yeah if i didn't just have a cappuccino around the corner i'd be getting a a coffee for myself right so you want to we'll go this way right perfect yeah yeah i can show it from across the street yeah sure Guys, let me go across the street so you can appreciate the the entire building, how beautiful it looks from across the street. 
Of course, sorry about the car parked in front, but you know, there's nothing you can do about that right now. But you can understand the, what we had to go through when photographing these mom and pop stores. You know, there's uh, all sorts of impediments to taking the photo. Like, you know, it would be very difficult to get a photo of this storefront right now without a car in front. Oh, and the Mighty Bull just sent us a dollar ninety nine. Congratulations Bull, on your book. Job. Thank you so much, Mighty Bull. Mighty Bull, sorry we don't James, have the Hudster today. I'm gonna get out my uh, uh, burnt battery. If you want oh, to. Mighty Bull, so, fantastic so job. 1907. They used to live above the store, right up there. Imagine that. You have your your apartment. You just walk downstairs. You go to your store. You get to see all your friends. They used to roast. Uh... Look, they'll be right <laughs> on the store. Right in the store. Yeah. They and used to. The look, she was one. checking out Carla, little doggo. Uh -huh. They used to roast the beans right out in front of the store. Oh, in the back. In the back. But right now, out, because of right out front in the back. James is doing a bang up job. Yeah. Look at these kids in the cart. That's what you need for me. Notice the difference in the battery. Sound sound because we have to plug in an external battery give us a second guys we're busier than a one-armed paper hanger as they used to say and we're sorry we missed you yesterday glad to have you here today on book release day we did our little premiere of how smart hudson is yeah a little premiere if you catch it it's a hilarious video how hudson figures out this puzzle that was sent by jackie b to the hudson himself hudson himself is in the video A big heaping of Hudson for you, because you're missing them today. We always miss our Hudson, you know that. Here we go. James, do you have the, you have the, the other um, phone? I hope so. Yeah. Yes, I do. Perfect. Okay, so let me take that. Let's roll. He's at home organizing his pizza coupon collection. Oh, the pizza coupon collection. Yeah. said I did business with a one-armed paper hat. <laughs> <laughs> he, was all, he was a shoemaker, Alan. Yeah, Brendan Nelson, you can you can smell the, I mean, if you had smell o vision they're busy inside, so I didn't, I normally I would go inside, but the, uh, I don't want to interrupt the business, um, but they roast their own beans. Uh, they used to roast them in the back of the store, but now they do it and they have it in, in their um, other location in Williamsburg. They have, a, they have a roasting area, but it's, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing shop. Look at that. The sack, sacco coffee. Sacco suds. Exactly. Jimmy Willis over at the sack of suds. Yeah, sack of suds. Poor Jimmy. Watch out for little birdies, James. Yeah, Guys, what a what a there couldn't be a more lovely day than today. James, what's the present temperature? <clears throat> it was 73 degrees Fahrenheit earlier. 74. 74 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a pleasant 47. Only 47% 47 humidity, which is, you know, not the lowest it can be, but uh, fairly low. Yeah. Oh. Guys, I always love this window with these bizarre headpieces. We're on Bleecker Street. Look at these things. Really, really wild. Look at that. Really wild. Aren't these, honey? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Got that? Yep. Those, those uh, headdresses are always wild. Oh my god. 
most definitely. Hell, the original was like, what was that? <laughs> hey, it's the village for you guys. <laughs> Got the wild and the woolly. Look at this. It's a bag museum. Who doesn't need a bag? They make their own custom uh, leather bags here. This is a wonderful shop, the Village Tannery, celebrating almost 50 years in business. Oh, James just spotted, for the car enthusiasts in the chat, James just spotted an old, old uh, BMW. With the real, the with the real, no, they, they don't, some work in the back. with the real bumpers. Now, we're going to see what year it is. Guys, you, you want to do a little quiz? 88, 87. Oh, James, very close. 86? 90? 89. Oh, I went all the way around. Yeah. I said 88 was my first I know. Your, for James's first guess was at 88. It's a 1989. Check that out. Yep. See, because see that little flare behind the rear window? Yes. The C pillar? That yes. used to be rubber. 89 this this uh, BMW is. It's in good condition for 1989. Yeah. Yeah. Good one, right guys? You know, James, he's, he's always spotting the cars. He's always spotting the cars. Extra, extra good. 1989. Oh, Alan Levy, thank you for the kind words. What release day? It's our official book release day for our storefront NYC. Guys, if you pre-ordered a copy um, directly from us, um, we will be mailing them out starting today. James and I just have to open them up, sign them, box them, and then ship them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will be, as soon as we mail them out, we will be um, emailing you a tracking number, but uh, please be patient. We do have a large number of books to sign and uh, we personalize, um, you know, we put in a little postcard that you'll begin to get. So um, just give us time. Know that it is going to be packed with love and care. So just give us a little time and you will be receiving them. Ray said that car looked boxy. Yes. Yeah, that was a classic. Uh, yes. Now, you know, n now cars are like much more, I guess, streamlined for aerodynamics New cars but, potato right that wasn't a, a big concern aerodynamics was not a major concern in 1989 yeah that sounds good coleslaw says my cousin owned a bmw 2002 made from the 70s oh those are great uh, certainly a boxy stand. yes going to school in new york is expensive nyu which we're right by this is this is some of their Store. This is the NYU housing right here. By IM Pi. Right. Um, that's bomb dumped by IM Pi. I think it's uh I think it's like I, I don't even know how how much NYU is. I would I mean I Up would in the 90s, I, I would get I would venture to say probably ninety thousand dollars uh with room and board, but it could be more. It could be a tiny bit less, but I would venture to say somewhere in that realm if you guys want to look it up what the current tuition for an nyu undergraduate student of course graduate school would might be more money um you know because there's many different schools within nyu university it's not that un, there's undergraduate there's graduate degrees there's many different divisions so there's probably different price points oh here's a new bmw with that beaver the beaver teeth four door look at this guys Look That's at the difference. The now look at, now we showed you a 1989 BMW. Now we're gonna show you a brand new. This is the M3 competition. James. Wow. An M3 competition package. Yep. And it's got a um it, Greg B just sent us a dollar ninety-nine. Thank you, Greg B. It's got a parking ticket. It's already got a parking ticket. Now they got 20-inch rims on there. 20 inch rims they parked at a hydrant wow that's going to be an expensive parking ticket because yeah, if they don't that's get towed. a that's a big no-no in new york you don't park and buy a hydrant towing can come you know because the hydrants are there you know for people's safety in case there god forbid there was a fire the uh firemen need to access that yeah, you at, um you know that fire hydrant to provide water so uh i mean rightly so that they got a parking ticket 
yeah it was uh, it was slick looking the front end is not our favorite the front end's a challenge. yeah it's maybe a maybe we'll grow to like it more but yeah. right now um it's not you know it's not our favorite styling yep. no blocking the hydrant exactly wendy you know i mean i understand parking is hard to find in new york but don't don't park in front of a fire hydrant it's for no. people's safety and a fire would look nothing better than the bus out your windows and run the holes right through it Nah, he, James is just kidding. Of course, James is just kidding. But uh, you don't want to block a fire hydrant for just for people's safety. You know, it's important that uh, the firemen have access to the fire hydrants. Johnny R says, oh yeah, that's a lot of work, um, you guys. You got, you need an assistant to help us with the, you know, the book signing. But it's only James and I, we have to sign the book. So we can't really have an assistant. But perhaps with packing, uh, we could use an assistant. But right. yeah, you know, James and I are only two people. We'll get it done. Yeah. But um, that's why I'm just calling out for you guys to please, if you did pre-order a book, we did not forget about you. We are starting our, as soon as we get home, we will start our packing, our signing and packing and shipping. Look at that Extravaganza. Extra. Look at that beautiful church tower. Guys. Oh yeah, the Judson Memorial Church right here. Look at that tower. Extra good. I mean, I don't know if there's a prettier day than right here. <laughs> Danette and Anthony are saying hi. Hey guys, book release day for us. Can I still email for a signed book? Wendy, you definitely can. We, we have not sold out of the books that we, that we ordered. So if you would like to email us, um, if you, since you live in uh, the US of A, uh, it's $46, including shipping to anywhere in the USA. And email us your, um, mailing address and uh, we accept payment via Venmo um, if you're going to Venmo us please do it as a friend so that way they don't charge us uh, you know a, a fee for goods just uh, do it as between friends we appreciate that thank you guys we're in the infamous most famous Washington Square Park the gorgeous Washington Square Park. The fountain is going. Beautiful day. NYU undergraduate tuition costs sixty thousand dollars over. Yeah, but then, but that's what without room and board. Put room and board in there too. That you, you know, room and board. Well, textbooks you can't include, but room and board you can include. I think it will bring you definitely over eighty thousand a year. I would say. I mean, that would be a good guess of mine. Lab fees. If yeah, the kids are all back. For science. Venmo was a friend, exactly. As in boy. You know, we appreciate that because otherwise they charge us a fee. And I mean, you know, we're for the shipping charge. I mean, to be honest, we're eating the shipping charge at, you know, depending upon where you live, it's probably going to cost us more than the six dollars to ship it. But I um, mean, you know, I, I tried to be fair when I came up with the shipping price that uh, some people live uh, closer than others. So, you know, the price varies depending on how far you ship it across the country. But I didn't, I had to come up with a flat rate for everyone. So I didn't want to penalize the people that are on the East Coast because, um, you know, I didn't want to charge you $8 for shipping. East Coast, West Coast. You know, when it won't, won't be $8 for me to ship it to New Jersey, but I probably will be that much to ship it to uh, California. But don't you worry about it. It's an even 46. That includes a free 4x6 postcard as well. And a photograph from Hudson. And a pizza sticker. It's a bargain. Yeah. In other words, it's a bargain. Yeah. Just a Hudson pizza sticker alone. I mean. Right. So it's, it's more than just a signed copy of the book. It's uh, getting a little personalized postcard from us. A little heap of Hudson. A little heap of Hudson uh, photograph all that extra good stuff. What release date was? Oh, 
Oh, did that person ever find his missing cat? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of that. I haven't seen um, I haven't seen the signs lately, so maybe they did. Oh, where to buy it? The uh, at a brick and mortar in New York City. Sex 12. I I would say with almost 100% certainty that they should have it at Strand Bookstore. We like to support the independent bookstores. Uh, we will check that out on another day, but um, Strand. Uh, McNally Jackson is another um, great independently owned bookstore. There's a location in the seaport and there's also a location uh, in Nolita. Is that an NYU hat? Look, there's an NYU hat right here. NYU Eats. NYU Eats. A discarded NYU hat. Guys, I want to just show you real quick. We're not going to walk down it, but this is, this is one of the prettiest streets in New York City. It's a private street. Um, really, um, a lot of the, the, the real estate is owned by NYU. In fact, they have La Maison Francaise House, Institute of French Studies, and the Deutsch House for their uh, German uh, language passes. And look at this. This is just like a, you feel like you're stepping back in time because this is the way, like, you know, New York looked, uh, with these beautiful Belgian block streets. Yeah, Hudson has to get busy signing his photographs. Right, Marty Lewis is saying, yes, of course, Village Works, where we're gonna be having our book release party, we'll, um, we'll be having, uh, we'll have copies as well on hand. So I think those two are interesting. I'm enlightening on Ukrainian. Of course, Village Works. Great, great, uh, great place, Village Works, gallery and bookstore. Yeah, it looks like England, exactly, Lisa, UK girl. Very old England. No, Aus Fly Girl, I mean, some of the stores, um, you know, that we photographed will, will, might have copies for sale, but, you know, it's, I think to have a whole inventory of books when it's not a bookstore might be um, might be difficult for people. Where, whatever you want, James. Um, you lead the way. I'm gonna follow you. Perfect. Right, that used to be a movie theater over here, James. Yeah. Yep. Back in the day. Before NYU took it over, there used to be a movie the theater. Was the um, Rocky, Rocky Horror, Horror movie? Right, where they showed the Rocky Horror all the time. Yeah, Zach? With the performers on stage. Sal, Marito, the goats from the audience. A city for everyone, Ray is saying. Exactly. You know, I mean. Personally, I don't think I would walk barefoot in, in on the streets because, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, there could be broken glass. You have to be careful, don't you know. Move. No, but James, uh, you know, we always even worry about Hudson. One time, Hudson stepped on some broken glass yep. and he cut his little pad paw. Broken glass everywhere. Guys, Bro I'm reading Grandmaster Flash right, Grandmaster biography right now. Right, Grandmaster Broken glass everywhere. The Grandmaster Flash biography is fantastic. James, just sing a little line of that. Broken glass. You know, they just don't care. care. <laughs> Rats in the front room, roaches in the back, junkies in the alley with the baseball bat. I tried to get away, but I couldn't get far. Oh my God! Little Grandmaster Flash vibes for uh, you. Jim Spitten. Ah, uh, James Spitten. You go, James. Uh, it's a cipher, guys. It's a cipher. <laughs> Nine years. Mighty Bull says, look for Lucky Bulls. Oh, you know it. Any bull sightings. Well, know, bull. And, and also uh, for, you know, doggos that um, like bull dogs. Yeah. Things of that nature. It doesn't have to be a literal bull. It could be a, a bull reference. A bull reference. Lisa UK girl says, love me some Grandmaster Flash. Go, James, go. Yeah. Broken glass everywhere. A child is born with no state of mind. mind. Blind to the ways of mankind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
only God knows what he'll go through. Ah, James has got a bum education, double digit inflation. James got all the lyrics going through his head. Car to the train. The station. The station. There's, shows there's a strike at the station. Oh, yeah. good one, James. Oh, Alessa Francesca says hello, James and Carla Hudson. Hope you're having a, a fabulous day, book guys. Day. It's our official Grace book Church. release day. Grace Church down there. Storefront NYC. This is the pub date. We're so happy, and we are happy to support uh, today, just to help support some of the small businesses that we photographed in our book. Because first of all, our book would not would not have been possible without the tremendous help of all the small business owners whose establishments uh, we photographed for the book. And Chris Stein, co-founder of Blondie. Karen says James knows his music. Magical rug cleaning, uh, singing the lyrics as well. Nice. Yeah. It's funny because, you know, James and I grew up listening to the radio. Yep. I mean, that was our source of entertainment because people were like, oh my God, how, how do you guys know all these lyrics oh. to all these songs? And it's just like, it's just ingrained in our, it's in, noodles. Yeah, I saw that uh, snake. Um, it's ingrained in our memory banks because we just listen to the radio over whatever they're playing over and over and over again. And uh, I don't know, things stuck with us. I mean, plus I we loved it. Yeah, we we own a lot of we vinyl have the records. Message on vinyl. Grandmaster exactly. Flash. I'm reading the biography, guys. It is absolutely. Acid Boy says, "Sing the full rapper's delight song." Yeah. Hotel, motel. Oh yeah. If your girl is acting up, you can take her friend. Hotel, motel, Holiday Inn, right? Yeah. yeah. Look at the uh, they converted a airstream. Yeah, guys, look, they have a little farmer's market here at Astor Place. Yeah, that's nice. It's really nice to help, uh, you know, support the community and uh, local growers. Farmer's market, very nice. And the cube is back, guys. Remember, it was uh, it was being refurbished, yep. so it could spin. The cube is back, it's spinning. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. Yeah, I heard it on the radio, Donna Summer. Oh, yeah. I came to win, um, battle me, it's a sin. On the radio, guys. This is uh, by Mosaic Man, Mr. Jim Powers. You know, did Jim, these, we featured him on our video. Oh, right, did these, did these beautiful mosaics yep. on the light poles yep. in and around uh, St. Mark's Place. Yeah, no one ever makes a left here. Very, very few. Yep. With a hip hop, hippity hop. Can't stop to turn around. Broke exactly. My sacroiliac. <laughs> Broke my sacroiliac. Broke my sacroiliac. Broke my membrane. Oh my god, James, good one, oh, good one. Yeah. LAB says, oh, I love that pole. Yeah, isn't it great? It's just all these little gems when you walk around the city. That's why we always tell people if you can walk, walk. walking is the best thing because you notice things that you wouldn't notice. Like if you were, you know, in a car or underground on a subway, you're not going to notice much at all, except the people sitting next to you or uh, crowded in. You know, like a sardine on the subway car. But when you walk, you get to notice these mom and pop stores, the signage, the architecture. So guys, remember, this Thursday, Thursday night, guys, will be our first official book event. We're going to be doing a book, um, an exhibition and book signing party, a official uh, book release party. Our first one, there'll be more to come, but our first one is this Thursday, September 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. at Village Works Gallery. We're gonna go by there, show you the location. It's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. 3rd Avenue right now. 3rd Avenue, um, otherwise known as also Cooper Square. It's right where Bowery starts. Let's just cross the street, James, because they're doing all this construction right here. We're going to show you where Village Works Gallery is. And don't worry if you can't make it to this event this Thursday because we'll be going to be having other events, including on Saturday, October 7th. So there'll also be a Saturday event because I know a lot of you who might be listening may not live 
or work in and around New York City, it might be difficult to come to New York City on a Thursday night. So we will be having another event on Saturday, October 7th in the same location. Um, and we, we hope to see you there. Everyone, of course, is invited. It's a free event and it's open to the public. So if you want to bring other people, that's okay too. You don't need a personal invitation. You can just show up. Just show up. How can I purchase the book? Alicia will be, will be um, s selling signed copies right here. So this is, this is the location. Village. Village Works Bookshop Cafe and Gallery. We're going to be showing our storefront photography. We're going to have an exhibition. Prints will be for sale as well. And signed copies of our books. And be there between 6 and 8 p.m. on Saturday. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the book, James. So maybe you even want to take a little photo. Yeah. Guys, just a show. Yep. Here, I'm just gonna just. Uh... Look at the top of this building, guys. So it's an old German shooting gallery. Look at that. Old German shooting gallery. Carla's getting a book out. Because then we'll take a photo, okay? Afterwards. Yep. James, you can watch this. That'll be okay for I'm second. right here, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, right here. There it is, guys. So, guys, Thursday. This Thursday, 6 to 8 p.m., book signing event. Right, right here, here at St. Mark's. Village Works. Gallery and Bookstore, 12 St. Mark's Place. All of you are invited. Thank you so much for watching this special live stream where we highlighted some of the locations that we photographed for our book. We hope to see you all. Thank you. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to our channel. It's free. And thank you for all the super chats and super stickers. Yeah, you guys are the best. Sending them. And also big thank you to everyone who pre-ordered a copy of the book. We will be signing them and mailing them starting today. Uh, look for an email from us uh, with, your, with the tracking number if you're having it shipped. I mean, I know that some people are picking up their book. Patience book is a virtue, party, guys. But thank you for your patience. They will be going out soon. So thanks, thanks guys. guys. And we'll see you on Thursday. We'll see you real soon.